No, we need the strength. 181. Start off tentatively with this. When you get to there, that's when the fur can start coming together. want this area to be quite dark because I should be putting a lighter background area than that. Now although I put that as a line there, it, it can't stay as a line. It's got to represent the top of the paw and the fur. It does very well then. And the other thing, of course, is as I said, as with the, the fur on the paw isn't as long. So let's do a little bit more of this. Now I should show you this in stages again because it's a long job. But what you need to do is to you see the um, one eight one Payne's Grey in several ways. First of all, as a strong line, and then much weaker as a tone. As you come through here, just this top area, we, we make these two together, so you'll see how this is working out. You know, it doesn't quite so much of a line now, does it? And as it stretches on, we lose the line altogether, and we just leave ourselves with just a little bit of shading. And that shading can come down the side here. And again, now this is where you have the transfer between the scumbling look that I'm giving and the hair, because this is when the hair start to take shape like that. Got it? So we need to follow my lead on this. There's a little light there which we want to retain. Don't get rid of the, all the light because that's, we can bring some of that back with, with uh, white later on. But you see how that is now looking? Now if we darken sections of that just a little more, you get that wonderful transition between the dark and the light. white goes on that in a little while that's going to look great anyway let me continue with this I'm just going to I'm going to have to bring that area down just a touch more I think it's just a little bit too it's got to be more in keeping with this over here so I'm just going to bring that down just a touch more so that we get we don't get such a, a gap between here and here that's a lot better. And right at the bottom, of course, will be at its darkest where it tucks under the animal like that. Okay, well, leave it to me and I'll be showing you bits and pieces as we go through.
Yet another technique for you folks. I, you can notice I've swapped colour shapers to the grey pointed one. And with this one you can just push in. You've seen me do this many times before. Instead of blending and rubbing, which we don't want, you just use the colour shaper to try to create that short fur effect. I do half of that. I've done that already, so if I do half of this you'll see the difference between the two. Now you're picking it up on the end, of, which is good because you're then transferring some of the colour and mixing it across, which we want to do. And that kept down here and then I'll stop and we can then have a look at it. Bear in mind we're going to, we've got other colours to put on, we're going to put black on in a minute, which will deepen these colours. But the black would be too severe for treatment with this. Now let me stop there. And you can see, see the difference between that and that. Now, imagine that we're going to put some white back on here in a little while, indicating the short fur, and some black. I'll just show you that too. Um, you can even put the white even on top of that dark like that and just to so it's all an illusion and the more effect you can get the better it'll be I'm going to sharpen that up a little bit it's just a little blunt but you get an idea of what we're doing here and of course when you go back here then we pick up on That's all to come, and then just to show you that the black works too. We don't want too much of this, just a little spot of black, just to punch in those areas. We need just a little bit of extra weight to it. There we are. Okay, so let me continue. I'll show you all of this uh, in without narration, but you can see how it's working. Now we use the black now. The fact that we've I blended it like I did gives a really good base for the black as well. So this is why I do it like this and then just a little bit of extra weight in those areas there. No need to blend it again. I'll be putting the white on it tick, but you can see look at look at the difference that is between that. And now watch this one. You don't want that line all the way up just in there because it disappears down here. And then we'll darken it a little bit at the bottom. too hard with this either. The black is very responsive over this area. Now that's it now. This is where we've got that extra bit of weight. Isn't that great? Doesn't that look 